Over the last weeks and months, actually, Shamas didn't make many public announcements why he does that. He's still 1000% behind this company. He's investing, he's putting where his mouth is. He has a public podcast that is called All In Podcast in 2022. We have the opportunity to watch a billionaire every Friday and having his thoughts and his knowledge talking about everything going on. So welcome to a brand new video and today we are talking about Shamas love for space. Yeah, over the last weeks and months, actually, Shamas didn't make many public announcements, no public uh, statements, no public presentations. So I was in um, basically informal way of thinking why he does that, okay? And in the end, it makes sense because first of all, he's the chairman of the company, so he cannot, you know, talk about it much, right? Second, he has a public, uh, I, uh, you know, a podcast that is called All In Podcast, and we will dive into that a little bit. And uh, there he obviously cannot also put out is insider information because this is like a public company so you need to have and uh, go by the rules and finally you know why should he he don't need to push the stock the stock will go up with the company achievements in long term and he's more than i think 300 million dollars into the company so you know he's putting the money where his mouth is you know what he said prior on cnbc and everything when they still was in the spuck uh, phase and i was very happy to see actually a comeback a little comeback it's a small comeback but a little comeback and i really like this about the all in podcast that you also see their face impressions you see how they say things the all in podcast if you don't follow it if you don't watch it go there it's one of the best uh, investing po US political business podcast that I ever have seen okay with four smart guys each of them has different kind of specialities Shamas is the public uh, investment guy David Sachs and Jason uh, are both like uh, venture capital guys while the Jason is more of uh, you know the guy in um, terms of uh, journalism moderator and then you have also Friedberg who's more the science guy okay so with that said really go there and subscribe uh, it's free it's every friday it's very very nice in terms of information now however they have a segment that they just introduced where they said okay what was the winners of 2021 okay one week prior to that they did okay what were the losers of 2021 and now they talk about the winners of 2021. Then he was asked uh, about uh, what is his winner and uh, see what he says and actually see how he says it. Okay, here's the clip. I have two choices. Okay. Uh, one is in the heavens and that is human space travel. Okay. We had three different companies create astronauts this year. Three. Amazing. That's like insanity. Mind blowing. So that, that, it's mind blowing. And so if you think about what the next five to 10 years can bring, Jason, what you said earlier about you know, making ourselves a multi-planetary species, what an inspiring thing that these thousands of employees across these three businesses did. Huge congrats to all three of them. Uh, I found it really inspiring. So I think human space travel. And then the second, which is much more closer to Earth is Substack, I think really got to a level of scale this year. So even though the small appearance of space travel in this podcast, you can see a couple of things, okay? First, he sees a bright future, okay? Interplanetary species, uh, more people going to be calm astronauts with these three companies. And he is obviously talking about Virgin Galactic, 
uh, Blue Origin and also Elon Musk's SpaceX. The second part is that he doesn't really, you know, lean forward or backward and talk about which three companies or whatsoever. He's, you know, is happy about the success of all three of them. He's talking about the huge achievement by this thousands of employees that achieving something that is prior just you know nasa or governments did this and now private companies doing this i recently saw a very nice uh, little meme and I, I will try to find it and i will share it here with you or a picture i think it was a, a difference between 100 years between the first flight on earth and the first flight on mars so this is quite interesting you know just imagine where we will be in just a couple of hundred years this will be mind-blowing guys okay and the third thing that uh, you see is actually how he says it okay you see he starts to smile he's you know leaning forward so body language is showing that he's really exciting about this and i think this plus his personal and financial involvement into this company is something that should give you the highest conviction that he's still thousand percent behind this company he's investing he's putting where his mouth is and uh, if you're still you know a little bit uh how you say it not sure about that guys i just want to remind you who shamas palihapitiya is okay he's a multi-billion dollar net worth guy Okay, he, his net worth is somewhere around $10 billion. He founded and ran with very less effort as he talked in one interview, the most, the top 2% of hedge fund with social capital that he founded by himself. He is uh, the owner of the Warriors. He was early on Tesla, Amazon, Bitcoin. He was one of the earliest and most successful AOL managers he was one of the earliest and the most successful facebook managers even working close with mark zuckerberg to scale facebook there's some great interviews out there where you see how he talks and again you know watch all his interviews watch the all in podcast and just um understand how he thinks he put out sometimes really smart theories out there that I just think like it's just so amazing that in 2022 we have the opportunity to watch a billionaire every Friday and having his thoughts and his achievements and his knowledge his intelligence talking about everything going on from politics over venture capital and investment okay you must be so so happy about this you just open youtube and have this all this knowledge for free we should be very grateful for that and this is uh, why how i am and and you know i love it and i love shamas and i love virgin galactic so uh, this love will never end so we are just in the very beginning always remember this is a long-term play guys multiple years and uh, if let's say uh we are on a 10 to 15 years investment we are just two percent in okay we are just two percent in just a couple of months okay so uh i really uh, like if you are smashing the like button sharing this video and uh, i see you obviously tomorrow with a brand new video it will be tesla sunday something i haven't done for a while i'm looking very much forward to that so stay tuned uh, uh, smash and comment below uh, with any questions or uh, notes or feedback anything let me know thank you very much for watching and see you stay healthy and safe